it's so easy to be tempted to feed our fur babies from the Thanksgiving table, but that's not a good idea. We learned that only clean unseasoned turkey meat, clean unseasoned sweet potatoes and pure pumpkin are best for pups. Well, here's more from the Dumb Friends League's Adrian Glazer. Hey, Adrian, it sounds like you have a staff favorite with you. Tell us who you have with Hi, you today. I do. This is Andy. If you recognize his face, he is quite the star around here. Um, volunteer staff favorite. Um, he is looking to go home for the holidays, though. As much as we love having him around here, he's looking for the right place to go this season. He's nine years old. He, as you can see, he's super affectionate. He, I won't be surprised if he tries to sit in my lap uh, while I'm down here. He, um, he's looking for a home. He wants to be your one and only. Um, he'll do best in a home where he's the only pet and he can get all of your love and attention. Um, along with that, his perfect home would have no shared walls, but he loves to play. He loves to go out and walk. He loves car rides. Um, he is just a constant companion. He just wants to be near his people all the time whatever you're doing. I love that. That's so yeah. great. Well, I mean, of course, as we make special arrangements for family and friends for Thanksgiving, we want to keep in mind a few things. So are there any special plans that we should make for our pets as well? Yeah, absolutely. That's a great question. Um, you know, along with Thanksgiving and all the holidays that are coming up around the corner, there's a lot of chaos and there can be a lot of excitement. Um, and so it's important to remember that those things affect your pets too, and to look ahead and to make, um, make special arrangements and special plans for them. Okay. Now, a big thing that I always have an issue with is my cute little dog's face staring up at me during Thanksgiving dinner, and I always want to give yep. her everything on my plate. So is it okay yep. to share yep. any parts of Thanksgiving feasts with our pet? What can we share? What can we not? Sure. That's a great question, and I know the feeling. Um, it's hard when you get those little puppy dog eyes looking at you from under the table. Uh, the short answer, though, is, is is no, just to kind of have your own maybe special treat uh, for your pet that doesn't come from the dinner table. Um, just because a lot of the, the fatty ingredients in the foods that we love to eat on Thanksgiving are really hard um, for our pets to digest. Um, even turkey, it's really best not to even bring that into the picture. Um, if you feel you must make sure it's very, I mean, just the slightest bite and it, you know, a well done, um, a well done turkey, well done. One thing to consider is also um, waste and table scraps. Um, a lot of that goes into the trash when we're finished, but that does not mean that your little pet isn't curious about what turkey bones are down there and what leftovers are in there. So make sure you keep that kind of out of sight, out of mind, keep it inaccessible. Well, Adrian, to wrap things up here, how can guests also contribute to a safe and healthy holiday for pets? Because, you know, so many of us are going to be having guests over for the holidays in general. Sure. Um, yeah, that's a lot of people have guests coming in and out of their homes during the holidays. Um, one of the biggest things that everybody contribute to is just keeping an eye on that door. Um, a lot of the added stressors, you know, might make your pets kind of, you know, even if they don't have a history of escaping, can kind of make them a little bit uneasy and very that kind of door darting tendency maybe shows up a little bit more in the holidays. So keep an eye on the door. Um, also, like I mentioned, just like humans need me time, our pets need me time too. So, you know, even though you might want to get all up in the pet spaces and make, you know, you're excited, you want them to be excited, but it's important to give them their space. Um, if you're able to, to have a little, like have, have a designated kind of quiet and familiar area for your pet, just to kind of come down and, and relax a little bit will really benefit everybody. Okay. Yeah. Great tips, Adrian. Thank you so, so much. And Andy, it was so nice to meet you, you famous boy. We appreciate yeah. you. Guys. Yeah. Thank you so much, Danny. He's a handsome one that Andy adopt Andy or any of his friends and learn more about the health and safety of your pets by visiting ddfl.org.